So we've come up here to see uh, the study site that we are going to be looking at and try and put the tasks that we're going to do in context. So as you'll have seen in the top tips, when you go to a study site, you will take a photo and you should also be taking a photo of your field notebook. Something that can encourage you to look more at the features within the landscape and really understand what they might be is a field sketch. So a field sketch uh, doesn't need to be artistic, but it does need to be something that picks out the really prominent features of the landscape. For example, here we can see that we're in a glacial environment. And so we'll start off by picking out the major features working our way down. In this environment, we're going to be going on a cable car traveling up to that glacier. We're also going to be looking at the streams and rivers in this area, mainly the discharge, the sediment concentration, but also the ecology of the area. We're also going to be looking at the glacier hydrology and we're going to be doing some analysis using dye tracing at the lake. So do you think you're about finished? Yeah, I think I've got the main features and everything there. Okay. Yeah. So our sketches are quite different, aren't they? Yeah, very. One of the basic skills of being a geographer, especially a geomorphologist, is being able to pick out major features in the landscape. And this is a really good exercise to make you think about it. As you can see, our sketches, even though they're the same landscape, are pretty different. So we, we seem to have picked out perhaps different features. This one is a lot more detailed. So the idea is to make sure you look at every landscape and make sure you can look at the photo and match up the main features and what you suppose might have created them and what geomorphological processes might have been at work. And now we're going to go into this study site and hopefully try and understand that a bit more.